going to show you guys how to use a step up transformer to use a 220 volt device like one of these that's garbage you're not going to use that but another 220 device on a 110 standard us outlet i'm also going to show you guys a little trick that i learned just make sure you stay tuned to the end all right so what you're going to need for this is a multimeter some wire cutters, some electrical tape, an outlet if you would like to make things easier. I'm using a stripper, just a regular standard USA PSU cord, and some heavy duty wiring and cable. All right, so the first step that we wanna do, we have a 110 volt input side, and we have a 220 volt output. So obviously this is gonna be running to the miners, is what we are gonna connect also to the outlet, all right? We're gonna be connecting the 110 input to this standard PSU cord, which you guys can use a thicker one if you would like. That's gonna be your best, best idea. I'm using this just for the video right now. And we're gonna run this directly to the 120. All right, so let's go ahead and start by stripping these wires and getting this thing on the roll. So I'm gonna strip the wire to give me as much length as possible. All right, and you can see in here we have our standard green, white, and black wire. All right, we're going to strip this down just a little bit more so we can get the wires dislodged. All right, now that we got some of these wires taken out of the protective coating. We can actually work with these wires. Now you wanna check and make sure that when you go through these wires, you didn't cut any of the wires. This one looks okay. Actually, there's a little cut right there. That one looks okay, and so does this one. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to strip these wires now, usually your black wire is going to be your hot wire and your white wire is going to be your neutral wire. But we're going to double check these and test them again to make sure before we hook it up. All right. So what I like to do, obviously, this is going to be our ground, which I didn't even need to really put that in there. So I'm going to actually chop that back off. So let's go ahead and chop this off. We're going to strip the hot wire. All right, so now make sure that these are pretty far away when you're doing this. I use something to hold it down just to make sure that the wires don't touch. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm carefully unplugging this in, guys. So now these are live. You can electrocute yourself. Please be careful. So we know that our black is going to be our live or hot wire, and we know that our white is going to be our neutral wire. We're going to confirm this. If you look at the multimeter, we're going to double check. We're putting our positive side on the hot wire, and we are putting our neutral side on the negative wire, and we have no negative values, so that means that we're correct. Now we're going to go ahead and unplug this. So there is no more current or electricity running through these wires. That means that they are off. And let's go ahead and hook it up to the input side of our step up transformer. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the inside of this real quick. And you can see, I don't know if you're too familiar with a step up transformer, but what's actually happening is one side is coiled around more so than the other side to step up the voltage and the amperage inside in your output, okay? So I can do another video about step up transformers or step down transformers. Um, I've done more work with transformers before as far as like Tesla coils and all that other fun stuff. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick little glimpse on the inside. All right, now this is the first time hooking this up. So I'm gonna put that cover back on there so nothing blows up. But let's go ahead and hook up our live side to the red. All right. 
tight. And now we're gonna go ahead and hook up our other side to be black. All right, so now what we're looking for out of this side, when I plug this in, guys, is when I read this, we should be having an output of 220 volts, okay? If you guys can hear that hum, that is the actual transformer upping the energy or upping the voltage to 220 volts. So I'm gonna show you guys right now if we go ahead and test this, we should be getting 220. All right, let's go ahead and turn this over. Look what we got, look what we got guys. Over 240 volts. High voltage, 247, 249. All right. Let's go ahead, finish up the process. We're gonna hook up our outlet now so we can just hook up any standard plug to this outlet, okay? Let's unplug this. Let's make sure we're not getting any reading going on in here. No reading at all. That means that we're not live. There is no more electricity running through there. Let's go ahead and hook up the rest of this. All right, now the reason that I'm using this plug instead of just splicing the wires from one of these cables and hooking up directly, is so I can swap out the units very easily, all right? Now, I'm gonna use a little bit stronger wire for this. This is a more high gauge wire. This is for electricity, all right? So let's go ahead and strip a couple pieces here. So I think that will be good with about, I think that this is more than enough. It looks about a foot. And let's cut a foot off on this side as well. Now guys, we'll talk also more about this paperweight garbage ASIC miner over here. Um, obviously, we know it doesn't work, but I have some tricks up my sleeve that we're gonna be able to read some of these chips and see what's actually going on in there, see what they were doing this whole time. All right, but back to the more important things here. Let's see how we can use these step-up transformers for the 220 volts. All right, so now that I made my wires, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is the same thing that we did prior before, is we're gonna go ahead and hook this up and strip these. So let me go ahead and start stripping these. All right, so now we have our two wires. Now, what you wanna do is you have, it will say here, white wire and black wire. So you also wanna follow your guidelines. You wanna make sure your white wire is connected to your black knob here. So that means that we're gonna have our white wire connected to our black knob over here. We're gonna file follow the wires no matter what. Now, a quick, easy way to wrap these around this screw is you're gonna grab it by the tip and you're gonna bend it into a U shape. Now, the reason that I say this is if you see now, it easily loops right around here. So when we wanna go ahead and screw this in, it's a very easy fit. All right, now I got a nice good connection with the live wire. And we know that this is gonna be hooking up right here, all right? Let's go ahead and hook up the black wire to the yeah. other side, which we know that the black wire is gonna be red. So let's go ahead and put this, and now make sure, guys, that you're keeping it on the same side when you're doing it. So we know that this top one is not gonna be live, that it's gonna be this bottom one that's gonna be live. So let's go ahead and go to the black wire side. So let's go ahead and bend this one as well. Usually, usually much easier to bend on the longer side. You want to grab it from the tip that you can, put your finger there, and you just want to bend it over. All right, this will give you guys a nice bend to really get in there. All right, so let's go ahead and lock this one down just as we did previously.
Okay guys, so now we have our hot wire and our neutral wire hooked up to the actual outlet. Now let's go ahead and connect these to the output of the 220 volts, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and follow this again. The white wire, the white wire, let me say that one more time, is connected to the black. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the white wire to the black side over here. All right. Let's go to wrap these co coils a little bit so we don't have so much play over here. in there nice and snug now let's go ahead and do this to the red side as well again nice good hook right there now we have a full connection and we're going to test it out for ourselves so let's go ahead pull this backwards and give this thing a test all right, so we know that the Dragon uses 220 volts. This power supply unit will not run on 110. I wanna show you guys. So right now we have the ordinary 110 volts and we get nothing. The machine is not working, it's not turning on. Now, let's go ahead and do this. There's no cutting in the video. I'm plugging in the step-up transformer. You can hear it's on. Now let's go ahead and plug this in and let's see if we get any action. That's how you use a step up transformer to change 120 volts to 240 volts. Just to show you guys, I want you to take a look at the multimeter. Two hundred and forty nine volts. All right. Well, hopefully, you guys have learned how to use your own step up transformer if you want to run a two hundred and twenty volt system in your house when you don't have the two hundred and twenty volts. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please do so now and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. For now, Digi out.